Well, guys, before we actually dive into today's video, just want to let everybody know that every Friday now there will be a member live stream at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So click the join button. If you are a channel member here on uh, YouTube, you can actually get um, access to that or become a channel member at blackandwhitenetwork.com. Membership plans just start at five dollars per month. Get access to the uh, member live streams every single Friday. But that being said, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this. Joe Biden. Now, yesterday I put up the video about the uh, Nashville school shooting. And at the time of that video, when I shot it, the news is just breaking, really didn't have a lot of details. And we still do have a lot of questions about what actually happened at this Christian school. When I shot the video, I didn't even know if it was a male, female or what. It was very, very fresh. Actually, I was on the phone with Rhodes, actually. And uh, we were talking about something else. And then I said, oh, my God, man, there was a school shooting in Nashville. I said, I'll probably shoot that. And I ended up uh, doing that video. But, guys, I believe that this story is going to die and it's going to die very, very fast. Because the shooter does not fit the narrative. Ladies and gentlemen, the shooter was actually transgender. Now, there was a lot of questions yesterday. I actually saw some videos. They didn't know if this was a biological male or a biological female. This is actually, guys, a biological female. This is from uh, ABC News right here. A police spokesperson told ABC News that that scumbag's name was a sign female at birth. I hate that term. ABC, why are you using that term? This was a female by birth, but however, pointed to a social media account linked to this person that included the use of pronouns as he, him. So this was a trans man, it seems. A lot of confusion about that. But anyway, this is why this story is going to die. It's going to die because this was a transgender shooter and the mainstream media is starting to kind of sweep this under the rug here. Because this was not a um, a straight white male shooting up a, a school. This was not a uh, straight white male shooting up a black church. Their narrative is going to fall apart. But however, guys, you still have. The politicians, Democrats pushing the same old thing every time there's a school shooting. We need uh, stronger gun laws. We need to ban assault weapons. What's an assault weapon? They have no idea. They can't even define it. It's not even a word. The same old thing, even though they already violated your um, Second Amendment rights after the last um, school shooting, Uvalde, with the help of um, some sellout Republicans. However, not enough still. Another school shooting. Democrats are still screaming pass common sense gun legislation. Same old thing. This is what they're actually pushing out there, guys. They don't care about these kids. They do not care about these kids. They just want to disarm you and put the weapons in the arms of um, criminals because criminals do not follow any kind of laws. No matter what law you actually pass, criminals are not going to follow the law. Why? Because they're criminals. But anyway, let's get over to uh, I'll kick here. This is a pretty disgusting move here by one Joe Biden. The man that's supposed to be leading this country. This is one of the lowest moments ever I've, I've seen. One of the most disgusting moments I've ever seen from an occupier of the Oval Office. Look here. Joe Biden jokes about ice cream before talking about the Nashville, Nashville school shooting in one of the most disgraceful moments in presidential history. Yeah. Because it is. Now, we know that on uh, Beijing Biden, he loves him some ice cream, right? But this is not a joking moment. But he decided to make it a joking moment. I mean, this is just so disgusting right here. You can actually see uh, Greg uh, Price's tweet. 
Joe Biden says, I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. Does this man not know that um, he's supposed to be talking about this um, shooting? I know the man's mind is gone, but is it that far gone now? Maybe it is. And on his Fox News um, clip here, you can see. Nashville police update on shooting right there. Joe Biden's actually supposed to be talking about this. Wow. Let's watch this clip. My name is Joe Biden. (laughs) Right there. It says Biden addresses deadly Nashville school shooting. And he starts off with a joke. My name's Joe Biden and a crowd laughs. I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. (laughs) And I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. By the way, I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. I think I'm kidding. You think this is a game, man? Do you think this is a game? This is not a laughing matter here, Joe Biden. This is not a laughing matter. You're supposed to be addressing this and you're joking about ice cream. Get this man out of office. Get him out. Vote this man out. This is repugnant that he would actually bring up ice cream. Well, you got three kids dead. And also, uh, I believe uh, three adults dead as well. If this was a um, a mass shooting. On a Jewish synagogue or black church church and the shooter was um, white. Do you think Joe Biden would be joking about ice cream? I mean, I don't even know the race or the the color of the victims. I don't care. I don't care. And if you guys go and watch the. um, The video footage that uh, Fox News actually released of um, the shooter, actually the police department um, released it, but it's on Fox News. It's scary. Because this person. You can actually see the shots going through the door. And then this person's walking around the hallways. It is scary. I said it before, guys. Arm the teachers. Arm the teachers. Let teachers actually walk around with guns. Or maybe, you know what? Every school. Public school. But this isn't a public school. This is a private school here. So. Maybe they could have actually um, had police officers on campus, but I believe that schools need police officers. Now, we know that the left despises the police. But I believe this is a way right here. In addition to, you know, to installing family values once again. Some's telling me this person who pulled the trigger probably had an unstable family life. I'm willing to bet that. Because we know that the vast majority of criminals. They actually come from unstable households. We don't have the mother and the father together. It's definitely an epidemic here in this country. Now, the mental health of this person, I have no idea. But obviously, if they're identifying as trans, you know. Yeah, this person's mental health wasn't right. Not at all. But Democrats are more concerned about, you know, taking away your guns. I'm wondering what is the headlines right now on the mainstream media? Are they going to cover this now that we actually found out? Because the uh, I believe it was the police chief said, yeah, this person identified as trans. Biological female shot up this school. Was actually a former student, by the way. Now, we don't know the motivation behind this, but the um, police said there was there is a manifesto. Laid out how how um, this person was actually going to shoot up school. And when we find out what was actually in that manifesto, I'm pretty sure we're going to be shooting another video. This is disturbing, man. 
This is disturbing, but Joe Biden wants to joke about ice cream. This is not a laughing matter. Beijing Biden. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.